Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I've got from our friends at Simply Made Crafts this great collection. It's called A Very British Summer and it is by designer Helen Griffin. She did an amazing job. I can't wait to show you what my friend Debbie and I did with them. So come play with us. So I'm gonna walk you through all of the uh, different projects for a very British summer collection, but I wanted to get you started here with, this is the Caravan gift box die set. So in America, we would call this a little trailer or a retro trailer. And look, you open the top up and it makes this great gift box. How cute is that? Just tucks right in there. My friend Debbie made this and um, I'll get into a little more detail about it. Look, there's even some boots, little bunting banners around it. So cute. She even made a little bicycle that you could just sort of stick to the side, like right there. So cute. Um, let's go through all of these and I'll get in more detail about this. So this one is the Caravan die set, uh, box, Caravan gift box die set. It has 22 dies. This one is the ice cream cone gift box die set, gift box die set. This one has 14 dies. This is the beach hut gift box die set. It has 22. This is the summer tent gift box die set and it has 12. And this is the cl classic camper van die set with 14. And then there is a coordinating stamp set as well. This one is camping fun and sentiment stamp set. All right, so we'll get back to this one right here. Let me go backwards on all of my things. Here we go. We've got the camper van. It's this great collection of dies in here. As I said, there's 22 dies. I'm not gonna take all these pieces out. And in fact, I'm not going to assemble these today because Helen, the designer, did a fantastic job with um, her projects on her website for Simply Made Crafts and as well as HelenGriffinDesigns.com. So I am going to attach her videos to the product pages for each one of these die sets. So you can see how to make this um, caravan box step-by-step step by watching her video. I frankly can't do any better than she can. She did a great job. Um, if you're looking for the supplies that Debbie used for this particular thing, you would just click on the uh, gallery below this video at Paper Wishes web Weekly Webisodes and you'll see a photo of it. Just click on it. It's also on the product page and that way you'll see all the supplies. So um, lots more information for you to come on this. All right, so next we've got the ice cream cone die set for a little gift box. Look at this, it's so cute. This little swirly top ice cream cone. Pull that right off, it's a cute little gift box. Isn't that adorable? All right, now I should mention that for this particular cone, I used the Chantilly Lace cardstock because it's got this great tan and this nice little pink color right there. And for the cone, which is right here, I just took this tan cardstock from Chantilly Lace and then I used my blender brush. And we've got two different blender brush sets to choose from at Paper Wishes. So we've got the four piece, which has some smaller sizes, and we've also got this larger set. So either one would work. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one from the four piece. And I'm using Roasted Coffee um, is the ink pad. And what we're gonna do is this has got this great embossed texture on that cone. And I'm just gonna take this ink pad and I'm just gonna really like heavily ink that so that it really brings out all the details on that cone. It's so cool. So anyway, I did that all the way around the cone and uh, always got to clean these off so you don't get brown ink on something else. All right, there we go. Um, also, this uh, Helen put this together beautifully. There's this little piece right here that she comments on on her video and she calls it a flake. And I couldn't figure out what that was and so I had to Google it. And it turns out this is a Cadbury chocolate flake. And in the UK, um, it's very typical to take their ice cream and to stick a little piece of 
Cadbury chocolate on there as a little extra treat, and that's why that is called a flake. So, and then I also, for sprinkles, I added the sprinkles that come with this set, as well as, these are jellyfish sprinklets. And that way I had a little extra little sparkle on that as well. So once again, Helen has a great video on how to assemble this whole thing. And uh, you would just look on the product page for this, or you can look down below our video and you'll see a photo of this die set. And you just click on that and then you'll see the video there. All right. What else? Let's see. I also wanted to show you, oh, this one is so cute. This is the summer tent gift box die set. My friend Debbie made this as well and it is just adorable. Look at that. It's just a whole little camp scene, okay? This one has 12 dies, so it's got the mechanisms to make the tent. It's got a little backpack, everything, a little fire. How cute is that? And Debbie used for her paper pack, she used tan cardstock and then she also used North Lake. Here we go. This is North Country, actually, North Country paper pack from Hot Off the Press. Um, she used that as well as the kind of the background here on her sort of ground. And you'll see it's a gift box because if you just reach inside and kind of have to hold it like this and you pull, oops, <laughs> you, I was holding it wrong. And if you pull this, out comes another little secret compartment that is your gift box. How cute, how cute is that for somebody who loves camping and then they can put this, like I'm thinking of like scouts and stuff and I love this. I have a nephew who would have loved this. So that's an adorable little set. And then we've got, this is the Beach Hut die set. And I wanted to show you this picture, this is on a, you can find this on the product page for this. This is what the beach hut looks like in this way. And then Helen and I thought you could make a great little birdhouse out of it as well. Isn't that adorable? And here's how it works there. You just open that up. It's got this little mechanism right here and then you just tuck that in there and then it secures that. And for this one, I used a nesting place, double-sided cardstock, and also the solid cardstock that goes with that. And um, that's how I made my cute little panel. This is the first panel right here, okay? And then it has a little circle in the die set right here. And then when you get to this point, you would go ahead and die cut that little circle for the little hole to make your cute little birdhouse. And then I use this cute little bunting and that's, ooh, I'm trying to grab it here. <laughs> it's not cooperating. Here we go. This little die set, and we can zoom in a little bit, Steve. I cut it out of sort of a tan wood paper or cardstock. And then I wanted to have colored little flags. So this is gonna be the background part of my flag. Okay, you can see the little wood right there. So then I cut it out several more times from different colors of solid cardstock. And then I just took my little tiny scissors and I just cut off just like that. And then I just glued each little piece right like that so that you can see the top edge, you can see the banner, the wood part for the banner and then just sort of customize them to the length that I wanted, just like that. And Debbie had a banner in her collection as well and she did the same with that. She also used for hers a nesting place cardstock and paper pack for that, or cardstock pack. She also used for her windows right here, silver linen paper, cardstock. Why do I keep calling paper or cardstock and cardstock paper? So that's what she used. Maybe we can zoom out again, Steve. I also wanted to show you another alternative for the caravan is this great little purse. Isn't that adorable? So for that, you would just leave off the wheels and such, and you would leave off the lid. 
and then you would just trim these parts off and then you could just put some cute little handles on it. I thought that was a fun little thing to print out. All right, and now we've got the classic camper van. And Debbie made this one as well. Look at that, isn't that cute? She did sort of a beach van and it's got this great little box flap on there. And for this one, Debbie used, let's see if I can grab it here. This is the Sea um, Scapes and Sand patterned cardstock and solid cardstock that she used for this. And then she also used the silver linen cardstock as well for areas like this, for the railings and the fenders and things like that. Isn't that just awesome? Now I wanted to show you another photo. These are all from Helen Griffin's uh, website. So you could do the camper van like this. This doesn't have anything on the windows. Debbie used vellum on the windows here for hers. And then just adding the ice cream cone to the top of that and you've got this adorable ice cream truck. So cute, has the little awning on it. So you guys, this is just a fantastic collection. As I said, um, all of the product pages um, for the videos from Helen Griffin are going to be on our, on our product pages with these die sets. Um, so they're gonna be really easy to find. So uh, if you look below our video here today, you'll see a drop down menu with all of the die sets features, click on those. Or if you go over to the money saver, which is on the right hand side of our screen. We have a great price on all of these dies and the stamp set. Um, click on that and that will also um, show you the list of every one of the dies and you click on those and you'll be shown the videos too. They're fantastic videos. I really enjoyed watching them. So I wanna make sure those are gonna get put on there right away. So if you're watching us on YouTube, um, I'm gonna actually link those videos on YouTube as well. So you just look below this video and you'll see the links to paperwishes.com where you can purchase all of these dies and the money saver deal. And you'll see all of the videos for um, Helen Griffin. What a great job she did. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.